The government of St. Lucia has welcomed with excitement the first phase of the Prola de Caribbean development by the Desert Star Holding Limited, DSH. As it nears completion, the racetrack project will host the Royal St. Lucia Turf Club Peter Cup December 13, 2019. Already 40 horses have arrived on island. DSH has spent $15 million on constructing the horse race track, acquiring and transporting the 40 horses, as well as the training of St. Lucians in grooming and other areas related to the equine industry. On Wednesday, representatives of the Desert Star Holding Limited joined Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney and other government officials in updating the public on the progress thus far. Vice President of Desert Star Holdings and Director of the Royal St. Lucia Turf Club, Eden Harrington, said St. Lucians will have an opportunity to be part of the project. Already some 20 contractors and over 300 individuals are employed in the construction phase of the project and another 50 individuals are employed as groomsmen. Harrington indicated that on the 13th December 2019, the date of the Peters Cup, some 200 additional individuals will be employed. He explained that St. Lucia will have the opportunity to be part of the project at all levels, be it in the capacity of jockeying, veterinarians or management. The director noted that the club is very aware of the unemployment situation in the country, especially in the south of the island, and will be playing its part to assist where possible. We have every intention to ensure that St. Lucians are participating at all levels within this club. That means that they're participating as jockeys, as trainers. Uh, that means they're participating in time as veterinarians. That means they're participating in management. They're participating in IT services, wagering, and so on. In addition, as the Prime Minister has alluded to, this, this industry is not a standalone industry. It is, it is an ecosystem. It is supported and in turn it supports other industries, whether it is logistics, whether it is media, whether it is farming in terms of the need for feed for animals, whether it is, um, there's, a, there's a shopping system to be frank, but the essence is that there are many, many opportunities. Some of these opportunities take more time to provide the requisite skill sets. Um, it takes more time for, for somebody to equip themselves as a veterinarian, for example. This is a process of accreditation. It takes several years. It is our intention to have all of these things done, but we have to move, obviously, sequentially. The director of the Royal St. Lucia Turf Club added that St. Lucia will also have an opportunity to not only own thoroughbred horses, but to also participate in the races. Harrington explained that the Winston Trim Training Program will be providing the requisite training for individuals who want to enter the field. St. Lucians can bind to these horses to incentivise the purchase of these horses. These horses are given preferential treatment to make races to be part of the fields on December 13. So the Pitons Cup is a specific initiative. However, in the support races, very much so. They are here to compete in those races, and those races have a minimum prize money of USD $20,000. The Winston Trim Memorial Trophy stands at $40,000 US dollars. This is considerable prize money, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in addition, those horses are yours. They're yours to own. Any prize money earned is yours. Uh, these horses are here to compete every race day that we are racing. It comes down to eligibility of the horses in terms of their ratings, in terms of the suitability of distance, and that's where you rely on the skill set of your chosen trainer. With a number of races scattered for 2020, Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney highlighted the scope for all St. Lucians to get involved and benefit from the project. 14 to 15 races next year. It's that opportunity to participate. And so both for the horses in terms of getting their rating, as well as for the jockeys, now that opportunity that didn't exist here in before in St. Lucia. So if a St. Lucia wanted to become an international jockey, he would have to leave St. Lucia. That's the opportunity that's made here is by raising the international standard, we now can now create that opportunity for solutions. So the Winston Trim Training Institution, along with the opportunity to actually have horse race experience. So the same thing that is happening with the horses is happening with the jockeys. People will start standing out, and then they'll start going on the international circuits. St. Lucia is expected to make its debut into the equine industry with the Peters Cup on National Day Friday, 13th December 2019. For the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville. Meantime, prolific sculptor Jaleem Yudovic has been commissioned to design the Peter Cup Trophy. 
I selected um, a wood called Loya Marble, which is a, very, a local sanitation wood, a very beautiful wood, two tone, which you'll see in a while, um, to create this market. And um, from this market, um, I will be doing about 12 sculptures. I think it's a Peter, it's a Peter cup. And um, when I conceptualized um, this sculpture out of um, discussions that I had with Mr. Taylor King and his wife, um, it had to be something that was endemically St. Lucian, but also spoke globally and also spoke competitively and definitely the host had to be you know, central in this whole thing. So after designing a couple of, maybe around 10 concepts, um, this piece was selected and this is, um, And the reason why I'm late is because I literally just finished it like minutes ago. <laughs> so I'll be heading to China where I work out of a foundry. Um, and so this is the sculpture, it's a, it's a horse head. And um, the circle represents, where well, the circle is the symbol of infinity, really. And um, it represents the, um, the globe because Mr. King is a, is a global player in the race, horse racing world. And, and the horse means, mean, um, forms the pitons to the bottom here. Yeah, and this is the, give you a spherical view of it, okay. So in a sense, here is your Peter Cup. Drawing on the inspiration of the Pegasus World Cup and the Everest, the Peter Cup will see participation from North America and the Caribbean, which is set to be held on St. Lucia's National Day as part of the 2019 Caribbean Equine Cultural Festival. The government of St. Lucia has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU, with Carnival Corporation and Royal Caribbean Cruises to form a joint venture to manage the existing cruise pier and terminal facilities at Port Cash Trees and to design, construct and operate a new cruise port in V4. The MOU was signed during a ceremony on October 21, 2019 in Swan Juan, Puerto Rico at the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, FCCA Cruise Conference. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Shastney, has called the signing of the MOU historic and a major step towards enhancing St. Lucia's tourism products. Um, so that means that St. Lucia is going to be uh, the place where the cruise will start and that people will be flying into St. Lucia to be able to meet their ships here. So it's estimated that we'll be adding at least 100,000 new passengers into the Viewfort area. And that that then now falls in very much in line with the project that we're doing at Sandy Beach, in which we are um, building 100 acres of, 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 of property, dividing it up and putting all the infrastructure in and making those lots available for both local St. Lucians and also regional people that we have our own beach facility. And so the way that the project is being designed is that the concrete road will become the boardwalk. So there will be no development on the beach side. The only development would really be the washroom facilities, some food outlets, um, lifeguard stations, as well as recreational facilities for the public. And then we will have now the hotels. And why is that necessary? Because the home porting brings what we call pre and post passengers. Passengers who will come in a couple of days early, or passengers who come in a couple of days later. And we want them to be able to stay and enjoy these facilities.